Alrighty, it's now 444. Happy Wednesday. And most of us, we are starting off rather dry across southeast Louisiana. But again, rain chances remain in the forecast through the morning and also the afternoon. So you want to keep that rain gear nearby. More showers and isolated downpours are possible, especially as we get closer to the lunch hour today. And localized flooding also possible. So watch out for all of that. We've been so saturated for the past two weeks or so, and it looks like we're not drying out. But I do have good news. The weather weather pattern is expected to change as we head into tomorrow, so drier days are ahead of us. Right now it is quiet over the city, mainly clear skies at 78 degrees. Dew points are actually rather low, so it feels like the lower 80s and winds are relatively calm. So as we take a look at the radar, latest scan showing a few showers moving inland over portions of Terrebonne uh, Parish and also Terrebonne Bay. Pretty dry over New Orleans and North Shore, North Shore Parish is looking pretty good at the moment. We are dealing with mainly clear sky. So as we put it into motion, you can see those showers and storms starting to move out of the southwest and it is heavy in a few spots. And that's going to be the story throughout the rest of the morning and the afternoon. Current temperatures not too bad. Cooler north of the lake, 75 in Slidell. Good morning, 74 in Bell Chase and 76 degrees in Galliano. Now the heat indices again, it's going to be hot and humid today. No surprise. It's going to Feel like the upper 90s so if you're planning on being outside today make sure you're staying hydrated also if you're planning on cutting the grass you want to make sure you do that early today before the showers and storms really start firing up as we get closer to the afternoon hours so the good news about the rain is actually going to keep our temperatures below average i do expect daytime highs to get up into the upper 80s today a mix of sunshine and clouds but those rain chances will continue to increase as we get closer to the lunch hour today Winds continuing out of the southwest. Again, that's bringing in all that tropical moisture. So again, a lot of tropical moisture to play with. So as those showers and storms start to develop across the area, we have an area of high pressure over the Gulf of Mexico. So that's going to keep our winds out of the south and southwest throughout the rest of the week. So available moisture, it's there as we get those showers and storms start to pop up across the area. Heavy downpours are possible. So here's the setup for today. We still have that front stalled out over Louisiana, so that's going to keep things pretty unsettled throughout the day. Showers and storms are possible, but notice there is going to be a pattern shift. Upper level pattern here, we have a huge area of high pressure that's going to expand heading our way as we head into tomorrow and the weekend. So I'm not saying it's not going to rain at all, but the rain coverage is actually going to be lower as we head into tomorrow, Friday, and also the weekend. So that's going to help dry things out. Models are showing scattered showers starting to pop up across the area. Area, partly cloudy skies, scattered showers really starting to fire up north of the lake. So again, you want to make sure you keep that rain gear nearby. Tonight, quiet, mainly clear skies, and a few pop-up showers are possible as we head into tomorrow afternoon. But notice, we are looking at the coverage to be much lower tomorrow. And again, quick heavy downpours are possible in a few spots. Taking a quick look at the tropics, everything is still very quiet. Great news, at least for the next five days. We have a huge area of high pressure meandering out in the Atlantic Ocean. And we have that sinking air paired with the Saharan dust plumes coming off the coast of Africa. Again, keeping things rather quiet. So here's your seven day forecast. 88 today, a 50% coverage for rain. But because things will slowly start drying out, notice our temperatures. It will be hot and humid as we head into the weekend.